Hi folks, this is your MWIS planning outlook taking you through to the weekend and the longer range patterns. Starting off with temperatures and we do have some warmer conditions that will be around through the rest of this week. That's the five days in relation to the seasonal average and you can see that there's warmth pretty extensive across most of Europe. We're not quite as hot as the continent but we're getting a waft of warmer air coming up from the south. Nothing too special but things stay on the slightly warmer side of average taking you through next week. Again the hotter conditions are focused across central and southern parts of Europe but we're doing better than we have done in some recent weeks again with the airflows more often circulating in from the southwest. The rainfall story taking you through to the weekend is quite a complicated one. This is the general pattern then and it suggests that central southern Scotland, northern England perhaps is the greatest focus of the higher rainfall totals. The airflows coming in from the south mean that it's those more southern facing mountains in the highlands more prone to some heavier falls coming in. The far north escaping with lower amounts of rain but it does look as though most of us will see some heavy rain around late Friday or early Saturday. Let's run through the charts then and this is Wednesday's situation. We've got slack high pressure over the country, not too much wind around for all areas. There will be some mist and low cloud across the hills early in the day. Some of the high tops may just be poking out above those cloud banks for a time. That will lift and thin and break with cloud lifting above many of the summits but we'll have one or two areas that that may just struggle and some local showers that will break out. The odd one could be heavy by the afternoon. They'll be just very localised. We've got subtle convergence of wind patterns just uh, inland areas may just create some slow moving showers but many will miss them altogether. The wind will be stronger on Thursday, that coming in as an east to south easterly, quite gusty in places around some western parts. There'll be one or two showers locally but many will stay dry, there'll be some low cloud across some east and southeastern parts of the highlands around the Pennines as well, just being dragged in off the North Sea. Western regions faring best for being sunnier and the mountains generally free of cloud. Friday gets more complicated from the southwest as we have some frontal systems moving their way in. High pressure stays toward the north. We have a strengthening east to southeasterly wind that could well be getting to gale force and very gusty, especially later on in the day. So do be prepared for deteriorating conditions as we do get quite a squeeze of the isobars moving in through Friday daytime. An uncertain trough is moving across Wales into northern England as time goes on. That could give some thundery bursts of rain, but much uncertainty with that the whole series of fronts is expected to push northwards later on in the day. Do keep a close eye on the detail and timing of Friday's forecast. It could well be that most of Scotland gets away with dry conditions until quite late in the day. There'll be some variable cloud, uh, some banks across some hills early in the day, but that will lift and then it'll just be a veil of high cloud running in ahead of fronts coming up from the south. Rain becoming more extensive though and pretty wet to end the day across most of England and Wales, that pushing into Scotland too, and some heavy and some thundery bursts continuing into Friday evening and night. Taking things through towards dawn on Saturday, that frontal system could well be moving quite quickly northwards, some further uh, clusters of thundery rain possibly coming in from the southwest into the highlands first thing in the morning. There is a good chance that that uh, main body of a front could well be out of the way for Saturday daytime, but do be prepared for some showers still coming in from the southwest. There is a possibility that that front is a bit slower to clear if it just starts to wriggle around a little bit as it moves north across Scotland. So be prepared for some rain that could still be around for Saturday daytime in Scotland. Uh, not absolute clarity from all the forecast modelling at this stage. This chart is perhaps the more pessimistic option, but it does just highlight that risk of rain being slower to clear for Scotland. The wind turning round to a southwesterly, quite cloudy across most western hills of England and Wales, but it may well be that most places are often dry through the daytime here. Sunday sees those weather systems push northwards and we're in a general south to southwesterly air flow. Quite humid, fairly warm, some low cloud across western coasts and hills and some spits and spots of rain coming in from time to time. Maybe something a bit more persistent locally near the west coast of Scotland. But go further eastwards across into the Cairngorms, the far north of the Highlands and toward the eastern side of the Pennines and you'll be in a generally dry story with cloud bases lifting up above the hills.
Taking the story into early next week, and it looks as though low pressure is out to the west of us on Monday. Still some areas of rain and low cloud just drifting in to western regions. Eastern parts doing better overall for staying dry. Overall, that low is going to stay somewhere near northwest Scotland, it looks like, for a day or so, Tuesday into Wednesday. Quite a weak feature, but just producing nuisance areas of rain, the odd heavier shower, and generally low cloud across those western hills during the daytimes. If we look at the general pressure pattern suggested for the week ahead, seven days through until the 28th of August, it would look quite optimistic at first glance, with higher than average pressure indicated, but that may not tell the whole story for the week. If I show you this chart as well, which highlights the upper air patterns, the black contour lines on this chart relate to higher levels in the atmosphere. We've got that general zone of higher pressure around, but there is a bit of a U shape, a trough shape that exists near to Britain and Western Europe. And that just means we could still have this sort of sluggish, slow moving uh, sense of quite slack pressure patterns, neither particularly high or low. But it could just be that it's rather mixed with some localised showers, a bit like what we're seeing uh, at the present time, really, where some areas see some heavy showers from time to time, but there will be some decent amounts of dry and bright weather in there as well. It stays on the humid side with temperatures relatively warm, but nothing particularly special. Thinking further ahead towards the end of the month and the suggestion would be that high pressure has drifted further east across Europe and we're just looking toward the Atlantic for lower pressure systems trying to move their way in. So I think fairly changeable weather is likely there driven by west or southwesterly winds with some rain coming through at times most frequent in western and northwestern areas through that spell. The model suggestions would build the high across central eastern Europe through the first week or so of September, keeping low pressure nearby to the west of us though, and it's something of a battleground then in the longer range forecast modelling at this stage in terms of just how near the high or the low get towards us and then that will dictate just how we go. Historical patterns would suggest that mixed and changeable summers often tend to settle down in the early to mid part of September, so I still hold out the idea that uh, we could well find a more sustained, drier, settled spell as we head onwards into early September time. So we'll keep an eye on that development. I'll leave you with that nugget of optimism in the longer range. Keep a close eye then on the details heading into this weekend, all the information on our website. Thanks for watching today. Bye for now.